Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a unboxing and going through the instruction manuals and some of the operations of this digital voice recorder. It is an L87 model and it's made by a company named G. Yes, just the letter G. Right now I have the mic gain set at level 6 and I'm about 24 inches away from the microphone so I thought I would start out this unboxing showing you the actual sound of the recorder. So let's get into the video itself. Alrighty, let's get into the unboxing. Here is the front of the box there. We also have uh, the side of the box here. And the other side of the box. There's really nothing on the back. So, let's jump right in and get this baby open. Okay, we'll unpack it. Here we have a card from the manufacturer, G, <laughs> and that's the support address. Over here, um, we have some apps you can download for Amazon shopping. So we have that. We have the 23 page instruction manual. We'll be going through that. Painstakingly through every page. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Here we have the recorder itself. It's packed in a uh, styrofoam uh, packing material material and an anti-static bag and there you have it it also comes with another box here what you'll see has the uh, charging cord and the transfer cord. It's a charging and data cord. Uh, USB-A to a USB-C, which is kind of cool. And that is it in the box. So we'll get into the instruction manual here, which should be a lot of fun, the operation of it. Uh, it's... Uh, Menus are a little cumbersome until you get used to them, then they're not too bad. So uh, we'll get into that now. All right, let's uh, point out the uh, features on this thing. Uh, first off, you have uh, in this area here, these are the two microphones. You also have the LED display, which is right there. Uh, you have the record indicator, which is a little red button. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is right there. It turns red when it's recording. It's between uh, this stop, pause, and power button, and the record button. It's just a little teeny circle. If I can zoom in there for you. You can see it right there. Okay. Uh, next we have, again, the, uh, the confirm play and pause and the power button. Uh, this is the menu key. We have the 
speaker, the recording key button, recording button, and the back and save button. We're going to turn it over to the other side. Here. Well, so he says. All right, I'm going to have to hold it there. Zoom in just a hair for you. Right here is the volume up, volume down. This is the volume lock and unlock key. This up and down can also will also be used in the menus. Uh, going through the menus. This is the main power button. You slide it up for on, down for off. On this side, here you have a jack for headphones. This is the USB-C uh, plug-in. And right here, I forgot to tell you in the uh, when we unbox it, there is a 32 gig SD card in there. And on the back shows you, again, just what I had explained to you what they were. I'm going to reference uh, a couple words here while we're doing this, or phrases rather. I'm going to use the phrase short press, and what I mean by that is you'll need to press the button and hold it less than two seconds. That's a short press. A long press, I'm going to mean by that is you're going to press and hold the button for two seconds or more so just keep that reference in your mind as we're going and we'll begin here to turn the, the unit on there is the main power button on the side right here turn it on and you'll see you'll have the welcome screen there Now, while you have that main power on, you can use this button right here. You can do a long press. And as you see, it shuts off. You do a long press on it again while the main switch is in the on position and it comes back on. Now, after three minutes with it on, if there's not anything done, there's no operation done to the machine, it will automatically shut off. Also, if the battery runs down, is about to die, it will also shut off. But a good feature it has, before it shuts off, it will save what you're recording so that you don't lose it. Okay, so let's record an audio file now. So you're going to want to make sure that your recorder is on. The switch on the side needs to be up in the on position. And you need to have this on the front in the display. And now you just press the record button right here. It says please wait. All right, as you can see, it gives you a meter. And in my case, I'll explain what this is. This green, this picture of the SD card. That means that I have it, and we'll go through this one later, but I have it recording to the SD card. This is the length of the recording, your battery level. I have it in the format of WAVE. And it's at 1536K, I believe, kilohertz. All right. So now that we're recorded an audio file, we want to hit back save button. 
In this case, it just means save. Now, right there is it showing. It's showing the file right there. It's giving the information that that's the name of the wave file. It is one of one file that I have recorded. It's 46 seconds long. My volume is 25. 25, I believe maximum is 31. Goes from 1 to 31. I have it at 25. Uh, this NOR, I have not been able to find out what that means. I even emailed the manufacturer. I didn't get an uh, actual answer to my question. Uh, this is the A, B, it's a repeat. We'll go through that later, but that's where that is. And again, the format and the kilohertz of what it was recorded at. Okay, I'm going to record one more so I can use, show you another example. Okay, so I'm just going to do a real short recording here. All right, that should be enough. And I'll just keep knocking stuff around here. Also, while I'm doing that, I wanted to show you. I'll record another one, so I'll have three there. Okay, this is that red record light I was trying to tell you about at the beginning. Okay, so now I have three recordings there, back and save. You always, while you're recording, have to hit back and back save button. It saves a recording. Okay, now you can see here I have three recordings. It's getting ready to play three of three. It's nine seconds long. Now I can push the volume up button or the volume down button. Now that's number two. See how the number right there changed to two? I can get the glare off. And there goes number one. So to play it, pretty simple. You just push the uh, play button here. All right, as you can see, it gives you a meter. And in my case, I'll explain what this is. This green. Okay, I'm going to pause that and then I'm going to hit. The up, oop, I held too long. Okay, now number two, this will be the second recording that we did. We'll play that. Okay, so I'm just going to do a real short recording here. Okay, I'm going to pause that. And we're going to push that up. That wrote number three. We'll play that one. Okay. This is that red record light I was trying to tell you about. Okay, so we all do that. Okay, one. so okay. now I have... Okay, so I have three recordings on there, right? Okay, now here I want to show you the play and pause button. All right, as you can see, there's your play and pause button. And also, I want to show you how to adjust your volume. Again, like I said, I have it set on 25. So you want to do a short press on the volume button, which is the middle button here, right here. So you want to do a short press on that. You'll see the number turned red. And you'll do a short press on the up button, which changes it, or a short press on the down button, which changes it. Maybe it's in red, I don't know what you see. Oh, at 25. Another feature on here is a lock button. The volume button right here, if you do a long press on the volume button, it locks it. So no accidental touches, you can't change anything on it because the buttons are all locked. 
Okay, to unlock it, you just do another long press on it, and it's unlocked. And now the buttons work. Now you can do a fast forward while you're playing the recording. So let's play it. Meter. And in my case, I'll explain what this and is. And so we'll press the screen. Hey. I have it in the format of wave. And, and we'll press the back button. Here. All right. That should be okay. Enough. All right, this recorder also has the option of setting a password up. Now, if you forget your password, uh, what you'll need to do when it asks for the password is put in 1818 and 18 and then a long press on the menu button. It'll unlock the recorder and you can re-enter a new password. All right, now we're in the main menu. This, there, of course, are four folders in the main menu. It's the recording that you see there, and that's the one we're gonna do now. The other one is settings, or music, settings, and folders. Okay, those are the four, uh, the four folders in the main menu. This is where we're going to set up the play menu. So we're going to hit play. And there we are. We're going to record. This is the library. This will tell us our recordings. It shows all the recordings. I have three of them here. I hit the back button. Now we're going to go down to this one is recording location now there is 16 gig in this recorder built in it also gives you a 32 gig memory card hence why they call it a 48 gig voice recorder so this is where we're going to set where the recordings are going to be saved so that's we to uh acknowledge that's where we want to go you want to hit the play button short press and there you see I have selected SD card. Use the volume arrow up, short press. And this device storage is the actual 16 gig in them, in the device itself. Now I want to go, I want it in my memory card. So in order to do that, hit it there. And we push short press the play button to confirm it. Next, the next one down. Record settings. Oh, sorry, I'm moving that around. Oh, there we go. So we'll we'll select that one. Uh, we have recording source. Now this is where you can either plug in a. Uh, uh, I'm going to date myself a cassette or a CD player or even a microphone. And this is where you would go down to inline. But since I am going to be, I'm sorry I'm moving that around. Since I'm going, I wanted to record using the built-in microphone up there. I want to select that one. So short press on play and it selected it. Uh, the next one is going to be recording format. Uh, we can record an MP3 or a WAV file. MP3 are a lot smaller files. Uh, the WAV files, they don't compress as near as much. You're talking about audio compression. So if we select that, these are the kilobytes per second. Um, I have mine set at 1536, but there are other ones up here. Uh, yeah, 512, I think is, yeah, 512. But this is the highest quality for the WAV format. That's why I have it selected. Uh, MP3. Uh, you've got up to...
192 kilobytes per second. Again, I like the way the highest kilobytes per second, the best quality saved. So I am going to select that and that. So I'm going back. Uh, the input gain setting. Now this is the gain setting for your microphone. I have mine, well, it wasn't on 16. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but you can set it all the way to 17, as you can see. The higher you get, the more distortion you're going to get out of that microphone. No. I'm now going to play an example of all seven levels for you. Hello. The recorder is about 24 inches from my face. This is level one. Hello. The recorder is about 24 inches from my face. This is level two. Hello. The recorder is about 24 inches from my face. This is level three. Hello. The recorder is about 24 inches from my face. This is level four. Hello. The recorder is about 24 inches from my face. This is level five. Hello. The recorder is about 24 inches from my face. This is level six. Hello. The recorder is about 24 inches from my face. This is level seven. Uh, recording monitor. This is for if you have headphones plugged in, you can hear while it's recording what it is recording. Uh, we'll select it here so you can just see the on off. Okay, mine's off because I don't have any headphones plugged in. Uh, VOR is a uh, voice activation. And this is where you can set it to uh, if you're going to be recording silence in between conversations it'll it'll shut down so that it doesn't have such as big a file okay so it's just a voice activation when you hear the voice it'll come on and start recording when the voice stops it stops i have mine set on off because <clears throat> i don't use it recording divide will automatically save your audio file uh, like it's for 30 an hour 120 it will stop and save it at those increments uh, we're getting into the timer areas where you can set the record time uh for an hour or a start time off and a stop time uh the record indicator is that little red light that comes on that I showed you earlier right there between those two buttons. It's for on and off for that. And now you get into your noise reduction and your noise cancellation. And that's that part of the uh, recorder. Okay, now we're back in the main menu again and we're going to go into the settings folder now. There it is right there, so you want to push the, or push the play button, select it. Uh, this is a timer button for the power. I have it off, but you can set it for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90, and 120, and it will automatically shut the power off after that amount of time. Uh, the next one is the backlight timing. Press. Uh, I have mine on always on. That is for the, uh, the display here. You can set it for 20 and 30 seconds and it'll shut off. I want mine always on. I want to know what it's doing. Um, next is the brightness of the uh, display. Short press on that. And you use the volume buttons here. You can see the brightness increases and the little circle indicates what it's at 
any back button to get out of that. And we're going to use the arrow button. This is where you set the time and date. See, time setting, date setting. You just go in there and go through. Yeah, I'm not going to do it because I already did it. And it's a little long process because you have to go through. And uh, I'm sorry about the focus there. Uh, you have to let it. You have to go through and set all the numbers. And I'm not going to go through that again. I did once. Uh, once you get in there, it's pretty self-explanatory. You use the uh, but the play button, short press, to uh, set when you get to the number you want. Use the volume up down arrows to increase or decrease the numbers. And then your back save will save it all. Uh, the language is pretty self-explanatory. It's got all the languages that it has. Mine is in English. You choose what you want. Um, and here's a password now. I don't want to set up a password because I don't want mine locked. But this is where you do it. And I'm not going to start it because I don't want it. I don't want a password i want to be able to just click mine on and i don't know once you set a password if it's always going to have to use the password so i'm not going to put mine in a situation where i'm going to need it so if you want to use the password i'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory once you get in there if not pull up your instructions and go through it sorry about that folks <laughs> okay uh information Uh, gives your software version right there when it was update last update it was um down here we have disk space my micro sd card There we are uh it says i have uh my free space and the total space there Press the back button and the device. As you can see, it gives you 16. Uh, that's 100. That's 1,600. What is it? 16,113 megabytes, which is uh, 16 gigabytes. And the free space is exactly the same because I don't have anything saved on it. So we're going back, back. The software version displays back. Format device. So if I push that, that's going to format everything on my device. It also will mess up your time to date. I'll go back and reset that. Just so you know, if you do that, uh, store factory settings. That's going to bring it back to when you open the box. And this is exit settings. And there okay, we're back in the main settings, and we're going to go into the music. Unfortunately, the instructions don't give you anything about this folder. So let's kind of dig into it a little bit. Music, all songs, no songs found. I think this is what it's going to play. Uh, Breakpoint. Uh, replay. Let me just stop right here because it all went awry and I had to reboot my machine. So I'm going to let you figure out the music section for yourself. I know you can set a playlist, uh, that kind of thing. But I'm just going to jump back into the folder section. Just going to be your directory of your files that you have saved here, okay? So uh, let's go into folders, device storage, system volume. I have no files on there. Everything's saved on my on my uh, micro SD card. So, and I have a reason for that, and I will tell you in just a few minutes when we get out of here. Anyway. I select the micro SD card. That's a system volume. There's nothing there. But it's in a file folder called record. 
So we'll pick that. And those are the three recordings. You can see that they're saved. The names are saved by the date and times. Okay. And that's all there is. Now, in order to hook this up to your computer, there are two ways you can do it. You can either use the supplied data charging cord, and you can plug it into your computer to, by the USB-A, and plug it into the USB-C, and it'll come up with, uh, I believe it's L87, and then if you click on that, it, then you can see the main 16 gig and your micro SD card 32 gig. And it's just a plain, like in Windows 10, it's just a plain folder system. And you can uh, navigate through that, I'm sure, by yourself. Another way, and way faster, if you have a lot of files on there, I would suggest, and always remember, when you do plug this into your computer, the transfer files, you have to have this main switch off, okay? It has to be powered off uh, and plugged in for it to recognize it. Now, when you charge this, I'm going to go ahead and take the camera over to my charger so I can show you. Now, you can use any USB-A to USB-C to charge it. But, in order to get the data off of it and on your computer, you're going to have to use the supplied USB-A, USB-C. This is a charging and a data cable. If you just use a charging cable, you won't be able to transfer anything to your computer. But it will still charge it. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Uh, <clears throat> and... You can see it'll turn on. I have it off, then they switch off. So you can see the battery right there. It's charging. <clears throat> when it is completely charged, uh, when I first got mine, I charged it completely, and it had the full battery sign like right there, and then it went off. So I guess it's gonna go off when it's done charging. I don't know that to be true. This is the second time I've charged it before it was already charged. You probably just topped it off, but there you go. See, it went off, so it's going to it's gonna go off, and it's still charging there. So I'm sure it is, because if I unplug it and plug it back in, we'll see what it's going to do here. Just to test it. Yeah, it's still charging. Okay. Alrighty, so there you have it. The L87 digital voice recorder made by G. I hope this helped. I did skip over the uh, voice activation and setting the password. Uh, there's an equalizer setting for when you're listening to it through the headphones. Uh, we didn't go through that, but it's in, under the music. Set it for whatever you want. It has like pop rock, uh, pop, soft. I have it turned off. So, I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments. I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. If I have an answer for you, I'll let you know. Thanks for stopping by, and again, I hope this helped you.